Hello and welcome to this feature presentation of the Nitro Key Storage Hardware Encrypted USB Keys, developed using open source hardware and software and designed and manufactured in Germany. Firstly, we need to plug in the Nitro Key Storage. Once connected, you will see that the device has been mounted. You can then find instructions by clicking on the Start HTML file, which will then take you to our website with various information on operating systems that we support. You will also find the Windows and Mac applications and on Linux you would install the software normally from repositories. The Nitro Key app is what you need to be able to manage the device and once connected uh, you will see that it's active and a tray icon will appear. From here you can configure the application. You see once it's been mounted in the tray you can click and then you have a, a drop down menu where you can configure the device. Now we unlock the encrypted volume here. We enter a PIN. We are using a six digit PIN which is long enough and secure. Then we will see that the encrypted volume will get automatically mounted and here you can see a couple of files that we have saved previously. When the drive has been unlocked it will work like any other mounted storage device. All encryption is performed by the built-in hardware encryption controller and not performed in software. Software encryption is much weaker than hardware encryption. You can work with your files as normal, and once finished and logged out, your files will be fully protected and encrypted. Additionally, your data is protected against brute force attacks. Only three pin attempts are allowed. Back to the tray, and we will now look at our next feature, hidden volumes. Hidden volumes are similar to encrypted volumes, but an additional password is required to access them. We enter our password to access this volume, which is hidden and appears to be empty. If a user sets up a hidden volume or multiple hidden volumes, a total of four is allowed in total. It can only be accessed by the correct password for the volume. Without this, it can't be proven to exist and is shown only as an empty space. Even security experts cannot prove that data resides in these areas, as it is cryptographically insured. Here you will see files that were not previously seen in the main encrypted volume, but are now visible after successful password authentication. You will see that another volume has been mounted too, which we have given the name as hidden. You can choose to call this whatever you like. It can be found here on the left side underneath the computer. Again we can work here as normal, the same as we could do with the encrypted volumes that you saw previously. Now we will head back up to the tray, we will drop down and click on lock hidden volume. You will notice a, an application message on the screen, we will click yes and then you'll see that the hidden volume is being locked. Another message we'll see on the screen also confirms this, that the volume is being locked. We will now look at another feature of Nitro Key, two-factor authentication. We can use Nitro Key for two-factor authentication for either a desktop or website application by using one-time passwords that are generated from the Nitro Key itself. We will use Dropbox as an example of the functionality and how we can use one-time passwords generated by Nitro Key. Not everyone can speak and read German, so we will change to the English language. We will sign in as normal with username and passwords, and as you can see, we're using our demo account for this demonstration. We will then click on sign in, and you can see here that a code needs to be generated by our authenticator application, which of course is our Nitro Key. We then head back to the tray and click on passwords. Here you can see we already have Dropbox. Click and notice the on-screen notification. The OTP can then be pasted and we can log in. The benefits are that if your password is stolen, they can still not log into your account without the OTP, which is only generated by the Nitro key that you have. There are many websites that support one-time passwords and you can find these by entering the following address 
which you also see on the screen below. This website will give you a various overview of the different categories and the websites that support OTPs. Let's take a look at the cloud computing category as an example. Here you can see the various websites that support one-time passwords. Now let's take a look at email encryption, which is another feature supported by NitroKey. We will use Thunderbird for this demonstration. I will write an email to myself, just so that you can see the process both ways, again using our demo account. We will give this email a subject of secret, just so it's visible in our inbox. We would also add some text, and I'm using encryption and signing, which is clearly visible here. I will now click send, and before this email is sent, I am asked to enter my PIN. The message has been sent, and we can see already that the email to myself has been received. To open and read the encrypted email, I must enter the correct PIN as we entered when sending the email. We can now read the email as it has been decrypted, as seen in this message here. You can see here that it's been signed and encrypted. This has been a NITRO Key storage feature presentation. For more information on the NITRO Key range or to arrange a technical demonstration or product trial, please contact us at the below email address. Thank you for watching.